Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the playwright, like how you can install this playwright tool on your local machine and start writing the test scripts. So installation is uh, quite simple. If you, you can also visit their, uh, their website, the playwright.dev. This is the uh, official website uh, published by the Microsoft. And uh, this tool is completely open source and which is built on the uh, top of the puppet here. So the current developers of this playwright are the ex developer of the puppet here tool. So let's see how you can install this uh, playwright tool on your local machine. So in order to install this playwright, just uh, you need to create a folder on your local machine and uh, open that folder in ID. And after that, we need to install the uh, playwright using the npm command. So like npm uh, install playwright. Sorry, my word. Uh, it is npm init for playwright at the latest. So once you install, uh, type this command, it will ask you a series of questions like uh, whether do you want to uh, do you want to use TypeScript or JavaScript. So if you want TypeScript, then go with the default option. Uh, else you can go with the JavaScript. So in this demo, I am going with the TypeScript. So I will select the default answer. Just press enter, and it is asking where where to put your end to end test. So I will keep it as it is. Else, then uh, false, and uh, that's it. Now it will uh, initialize the playwright it uh, in this uh, local folder. And as you can see, these are the default folder structure that playwright provides. So node modules like this, you can ignore this because whenever you install the uh, npm packages, it will create the node modules on your local folder. So that let's ignore that. Now we have this test folder where uh, playwright had, has provided this uh, sample uh, test for the reference. So we will see like what this test is all about and how to write this test in the next video. And then we have this test example for another uh, multiple examples, how you can write a data driven test and all that. And then we have this package.json file, which is basically tells you, tells more about your uh, framework, the, what this framework uh, is all about. And coming to this playwright config. So this is a default configuration, which playwright provides and playwright by default use the playwright.config.ts. So, and we can also provide the uh, our custom config to a playwright to run some particular scenario in a particular way. So let's for uh, for now let's remove all the uh, configuration inside this config file, so that we can start from this scratch. So I'll just remove everything ex except this uh, test directory because a test directory I want I will, I'm going to write all my tests inside this uh, test directory. So let's remove this unused imports. Yeah, no, that's it. And also we are going to, uh, okay. Let's create a new folder here. Mark this folder is a working progress. That's a working progress folder. And inside this folder, we are going to move these uh, sample scenarios because we are going to write our latest, uh, our our test automation with from the scratch and we are keeping this uh, we are not deleting this uh, exist the sample scenario because we are going to take the reference to see how the playwright team is uh, using their apis to interact with the web, web application yeah so that's it about the uh, installation part we will see uh, we will see you all in the next video where we are going to write the test script